must be a million girls here in this great big city. I know that one of them is just right for me. I'm Mark Leggett. I play guitar and I write music for TV and small films and documentaries. In 79, I got out to LA and started looking for gigs, playing dives and uh, trying to be a songwriter, which didn't really happen. So I always did music, did the tracks for people, songs and various projects. And in the mid 80s, I got a TV show and started writing for that. Over the years, I've worked with Lots of different people. Uh, Dolly Parton uh, worked with the English guitarist Richard Thompson on some scores. Uh, wrote a piece of music for Levon Helm and the band who recorded it for a documentary, recorded a theme song uh, for PBS back in, this was back in 96. And I've just always written. I've always played guitar, played guitar first. <laughs> learned enough keyboards to be an arranger and write and orchestrate music. A good friend of mine, a bass player that I was playing gigs with, was also a script writer and he started writing on a show called The New Monkeys. Based on the old monkeys, it was about, it lasted about a half a season and it was a new batch of kids being the monkeys. It aired on Fox, I believe, for about six months. Anyway, I was the sole composer for the music for that series, which was fun because it was guitar-based music. Uh, didn't last long, and then I started working with other composers. My good friend Ray Bunch uh, worked on Quantum Leap, which was a big hit uh, TV show at the time. Ended up writing more and more dramatic stuff, and then in the early days of the Discovery Channel, before they started doing car shows and gun shows and all the stuff they do now in Survivor, I did a a lot of those shows, programming-wise, that wasn't dramatic scoring, it was more documentary-style sh scoring. But I got to use real instruments and real players and, you know, decent budgets. So that was before the advent of all the MIDI gear and having your own studio with samples and everything. We, d we had a little bit of that, but not much back then. I did write one song that got cut, and I wrote it with a producer and the artist Kylie Minogue. Uh, she's an Australian pop star. And uh, it was on one of her hit records, and it wasn't a single, but it did really well. So, you know, I ended up getting a music publishing deal from that, but never really got into the full songwriting thing. I dabbled in it. Like I said, I did more arranging for people and more recording guitar for songwriters than I did actual writing. I started doing it before, really before all the technology came into play. It was more about writing, you know, sit down and write, read, you know, and record your stuff. And and your first pass was with an orchestra you know, or with a band of musicians. You didn't have the machinery in the, in the front end. You know, there was no middleman. It's like, here's the music, let's record it, let's play it. Now it's wide open. Mm -hmm. 